What's up enthusiasts? I've got some gameplay footage for you with a special blaster. It's a blaster that was given to me after backing the Thunderdome project and that is the Mr. Beaverton Triad. This delightful little blaster was a wonderful surprise and I was more than excited to get to use it on the field. Excitement aside, I went in assuming I was going to have the same if not more success with this as I did with the Jolt. However, I had a harder time getting tags. It may have been my assumption that it would be easier with more darts that led me to a different playstyle that was less effective. Despite not having the same amount of success, running around tagging people with a beaver was undeniably so. yeah, fun, yeah. and I fully intend on running it again in the future. The game being played here is Flux, which I've included a link in the info for all the rules regarding it if you haven't seen it before. One last thing to note is that due to the short nature of Flux games, Kim's I put three position. games worth of footage into this video, so you get all of the Mr. Beaverton games I played at once, and I hope you enjoy it. Got me. Two. Two. Where is the thing over here? BFU's back here, to the right. Okay. No, no. no. Keep playing. Oh. 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 I, I thought you might. Yeah. I wasn't gonna get to the point anyways. Good, we're blue here. When I'm running something with a limited capacity like the Triad, I feel the need to try and sneak around a bit more to try and catch people by surprise. However, this doesn't always work and when it doesn't, it means that I've lost all of that time. So it becomes a game of balancing the pros and cons of playing like that to try and get the best rate of success. Oh, we're good? Yeah, we're good. Oh, I was all like, man, I'm gonna sneak up, I'm gonna be awesome. No, no. <laughs> oh, we're gonna find out here in a second. Oh no, it popped itself. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 
You got three, one behind Bush. Yeah, my gun. Nice. We got, we got, we need help mid, help mid. Need help mid! Need help mid! You got one in cubby, two in mid. They have point. Still need help mid. Someone's got to rush this point and take it before time runs. Got him, nice. Pouch, pouch, pouch. Incoming. Leg. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. One more, one more, one more. Probably. So this right here is one of my biggest problems in games. I love dodging darts. It's so much fun, and I often find myself just trying to dodge an entire mag dump my from someone hurt. rather than trying to apply pressure back, which can result in me getting tagged before I can contribute much to my team. It's something you'll notice if you watch enough of my videos. With that said, in fun games like this, I doubt I'll ever stop doing it because like I said, it's just too much fun. No, I got hit the foot. Go, 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 go! Josh is at right. the cubby! Josh and cubby, two on bridge, three on bridge. Josh in the cubby. You in? Hey, watch out, watch out. Three on the bridge. Three on the bridge. Oh, it was so close. Oh. It was. So it was. We need a point on the right side. How do we do this? Oh, no, we don't. Okay. That does it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this goofy little blaster. A huge thank you again to Rob of Thunderdome for sending this to me and to Thunderdome regular Watson for being the one to actually make it. I absolutely love it. I want to hear your thoughts on it though, so let me know in the comments. And if you're new to the channel and enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that subscribe button for more in the future and check out our Discord community if you want to hang out and chat. There's a link to that in the info. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have fun flinging foam and I'll see you next time.